Former Disney Halloween Town co-stars Kimberly J. Brown and Daniel Counts are married, all the dead. The couple tied the knot in California on April 19, surrounded by 92 guests, including actress Lacey Chabert, who served as a bridesmaid. Tomash Skiringa, The Big Affair. Kimberly J. Brown and Daniel Counts are married. The former Halloween Town 2, Calabar's Revenge co-stars tied the knot on Friday, April 19, at the Spanish Hills Club in Camarillo, California, surrounded by 92 loved ones. The couple who planned their nuptials with the help of Kaylin Davidson of Sarah Judith Events tells people they were immediately drawn to the stunning scenery of the private club. You get married over the mountains, says Brown, 39, of the location. It was just so beautiful when we first went there. It was the first venue we saw, but we quickly found ourselves comparing every other venue against it. Related, Halloween Town's Kimberly J. Brown shares wedding planning update, I've been having a blast, exclusive. Their overall vision for the wedding was understated elegance, so they let the natural beauty of the venue shine, focusing on a soft color palette of white and blush pink, with black accents for a modern touch. Their ceremony was held outside, and the pair exchanged vows under a wooden arbor decorated with flowers. Tipsy Tulips Designs oversaw the arrangements, with blooms provided by Petal Driven. Rustic Yard Events handled the rentals, and linens were supplied by Party Mosaic. More than words created all of the couple's stationary products. We both love nature, so we definitely wanted to have the ceremony outside amongst the trees, and it overlooked the valley and all of that beautifulness before we went inside and we partied it up, says Counts, 45. The couple's close friend Ashley Crenshaw officiated the ceremony. She's known me for a long time and known Daniel, so it's a fun, personal touch, says Brown, whose bridal party included her sister as matron of honor, and Count's sister and actress Lacey Chabert as bridesmaids. Other celebrity guests included Ali Vodatowski, Ashley Jones, Missy Pyle, Amy Davidson and actress Judith Hoke, who played Brown's mom in Halloween Town. Brown walked down the aisle to I Choose You by Sarah Borellis, which was performed by Brianna Cuoco, whose sister is actress Kaylee Cuoco. She wore a Stella York dress from Lily Bridles. The beautiful layers of tulle over the ball gown style skirt just really felt like a wedding gown on, Brown says of her dress. I was also so comfortable in it, which was really important to me. I wanted a veil that was in between floor length and shoulder length so Lily Bridal's custom made the gorgeous one I wore. The sparkly detail of the crystals, beads, and pearls lining the edge was my favorite. When the dancing kicked off, she swapped her Badgley Mishka heels for Betsy Johnson's sparkly sneakers. Violet Artistry handled her wedding day glam. Counts and his groomsmen sported suit shop suits, ties, and shoes. Music was a top priority for the couple's event. They hired an awesome DJ, Tyler Varnell, who is also a saxophonist. He can play it solo but also play it over the songs playing, Brown explains. He came out for a saxophone solo for our first dance, and played some live music during the ceremony. They performed their first dance as husband and wife to You Are the Best Thing by Ray LaMontagna. It's an amazing song, Counts says. We love it. They also prioritized the food, including having lots of tasty snack options for guests at their reception. We did a flatbread station and some fun things that were the kind of things we saw as options and thought, oh, well, gosh, I'd love to sneak over for a slice of pizza during the cocktail reception. Guests also dined on New York Strip and Chicken Napoli. For a late night snack, they had a French fries bar featuring various fries, onion rings and dipping sauces. Having a delicious cake was non-negotiable, Counts adds. They chose a gluten-free vanilla bean cake with a cinnamon cream cheese crunch filling and vanilla buttercream frosting, created by Sugar Lab Bake Shop. As they look back on their special day, the newlyweds tell people their wedding was a dream come true. We are so grateful that our family and friends came, and some of them traveled farther than others. 
it was just a fun celebration day and kind of surreal having all of our family members in one place like that, meeting each other, hanging out, laughing, Brown says. The pair first met while working on Halloween Town 2, in the 2001 Disney Channel film before sparking a romance years later. Brown recalls that she and Counts got along great on set, but says there were never any romantic discussions, thoughts, or feelings at that time. We were strictly professional, adds Counts. Related, Kimberly J. Brown admits she and Daniel Counts never sat and watched the Halloween Town movies, exclusive. After filming wrapped, the two remained friends, mostly keeping in touch via social media. They reconnected again in 2016 when Brown contacted her former co-star about a project she was working on. I was shooting some comedy sketches for my YouTube channel and thought, some of the fans might recognize it and think it's cool, she tells people. So I reached out to him, and we worked on the sketches but also started catching feelings, I guess, as the kids say. Counts remembers being blown away by Brown when he saw her again after all those years. We met up at a bar, and I was waiting there for a little Kimberly J. Brown to come in and in walks a beautiful, well put together full grown woman. I was like, oh, well, hello there. I believe we've both grown up a little bit, he recalls. Then that was pretty much it for me. I was smitten. Brown says the spark between them developed naturally and gradually. The more conversations and catching up and the more we got to talking and everything, there was such an ease to it and everything. I remember thinking in the back of my head, oh, what's happening here? There's something happening here, she explains, noting that their shared history and friendship offered a great foundation for building a romantic relationship. Related, Kimberly J. Brown is engaged to her former Halloween Town co-star Daniel Counts, love you forever. The two got engaged in June 26, 2022, which was the anniversary of them officially becoming boyfriend and girlfriend. Counts popped the question following a day spent enjoying an outing on the Swan Pedal Boats at Echo Park Lake in Los Angeles. Just as the sun began to set, he took Brown to the Griffith Observatory, the site of their very first date. We went up literally right in front of the observatory where we had hung out on our first official date. He proposed right in the same spot, and it was really just the perfect evening, Brown says. Now, Counts is excited to call Brown his wife. I'm like, oh, yeah, that's my wife. That's my wife there. Here's this ring right here. I the Wednesday I'm very excited about that, he tells people of Brown, whom he describes as the best friend and wife someone could have. He adds, I love her determination when she has an idea she acts on it and does it and takes care of it. She's like a force of nature, I'll say that. Brown says she fell in love with Count's heart and patient, caring nature. He always holds space for me, no matter what. That kind of unconditional love and caring still astounds me, she notes. He is my favorite person to sit on the couch with at the end of the day and just chat about things. We just genuinely love spending time together. As they settle into married life, Brown is looking forward to lots of travel and new adventures with her husband by her side. We both just love exploring and learning about other parts of the world, and I haven't gotten to do that as much in the beginning part of my life as I would like. So I think that's going to become a thing we do together and go visit different countries and places, she says. I can't wait to explore the world with Kimberly. It's going to be awesome, Counts adds.